All right, welcome back. This is the color switch tutorial series here inside Construct 3. In the last video, we set up the player control. Works just fine now. This video, we are going to start spawning some rings. So let's go ahead and dive right into that. Inside our ring spawner group, I'm going to add an event and I'm going to say system every x seconds and this is going to spawn a ring every however many seconds we set it at and we're going to control that with a variable that variable is one that we created and that is the spawn speed so I'm just going to type in spawn speed so if you remember when we set up the initialize group we said spawn speed is 1.2. So this is going to say every spawn speed, which is 1.2 seconds, so every 1.2 seconds we are going to start spawning a ring. And we're going to do that by add an action, system, create object, and that object is going to be the ring. And the layer is going to be the game layer, so you want to put that in between uh, quotation marks. So type a quotation, and they come up. I'm going to select game, and it auto fills it for me. And I want it to spawn at our ring spawner spot, which was one of the sprites we created. So I'm just going to start typing in the name of that object, which is ring spawner. There it is, ring spawner dot x for the x value and ring spawner dot y for the y value. Now once we create it, we want to move it. So add an action, and let's go into our sprite, select our ring object, and we can scroll down to the bullet behaviors, and let's set the angle of motion to 90 degrees, because if you remember, our little chart here that 90 degrees is straight down. So we want them to go down from the top of the screen down. And we also want to set how fast it goes. So let's add an action, go back into our ring, and set speed. And the speed is going to be controlled by the variable, which is ring speed. So type in ring speed. There we go. That way, when we change it later on, uh, this can be updated to get faster throughout the game. And I'm going to move this ring speed above the angle of motion because that needs to happen first. So let's go ahead and play that. So every 1.2 seconds, a ring is being spawned and shot down the screen. So that is doing exactly what we tell it to. Uh, you'll notice that it is changing through the three colors and ending on red. That's because it's playing the animation. And we can go into the ring object and make sure that the speed of the animation is zero. And then back over on the event sheet, let's add an action. Go into sprite, ring, and we want to, under animations, we want to set the frame. So we want to set the ring to one of those three colors, which is in one color in each animation frame. Remember, we have the blue, the yellow, and the red. But I don't want to decide what color, and I don't want it to be a pattern, so I want it to be random. And a built-in function in Construct 3 is the word random. So type in random and then a parentheses, and then type in, uh, we want to start from frame zero, comma, three, in parentheses. So what we have is random between z frame zero and three. Click done, and slide that all the way up to just under the create object. So we're gonna create the ring. We're going to randomly set one of the three colors and then we're going to tell it how fast we want it to go and then what direction we want it to go. So let's play that. We got ready, go, and there it is. Yellow, blue, blue, yellow, 
blue. Can we get a red? I just want to know that we have, there it is. So we can reach all three colors. And if we just refresh, it will hopefully, there it is. It started out with blue this time. Red, blue, blue. So it is completely random. So now we can set up how the rings react to our player object. And we will do that in the next video. Don't forget to save, and I will see you then.